Here's another way to represent multiplication, this time with a table. The full terminology for this is an input-output table. Um, the easiest way for this is, since I'm specifically doing groups of six, I'm going to draw one group. So that will be six dots to start. And I'm going to create a table. On the top of the table, I normally put times six, since that is our group size. And you can see that based on where the numbers are in relation. And then for one group of six, I would count one, two, three, four, five, six, and write it down. Then I would keep counting. So I'd start at six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'd put 12 under it and I'd put two. Then I'd start my third group. I'd start at 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then I'd go to four. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then for my fifth group, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oftentimes with input output tables, we'll ask specific questions. So the question might be, continue this table on, group, on row 10, what will be in this box? So they need to be able to find the rule because it often won't tell you the rule. Often they'll just have a table like this and they'll go, we have a table, what is the rule? What would you have in this box? So one thing we do ask them to look at is we ask them to look at the first input because that's going to be your number times one. Any number times one is gonna be itself. So this tells me the rule is multiply by six. So I could find out my rule by taking 10 and multiplying it by six. And it's going to be a double of the five. So 30 plus 30 is 60. And that will be the answer to that. That is how you use an input output table for multiplication.